This is cool. Get one core gameplay mechanic, which is just movement, and then have fun with it. Okay, so we do kind of sink in. Well, what's up here? You know, visually, this actually uh, reminds me in some small way of um, Hyperlight Drifter. I mean, obviously, completely different things, but the aesthetic somehow comes close. Maybe it's the color choices or the the architecture. Hope for our people was restored by the wisdom of her words and the refuge she gave us. The spirit animals helped her hide the way in, behind falling waves marked by the sun and moon in the close northeast. Wait. The way in, behind falling waves marked by sun and moon in the co close northeast. That's something over there, I don't know. Doesn't really look like there's much of anything around here. It would not surprise me to find out that, uh... They got betrayed by stuff. Oh, there's actually like a splash as we pass through. That's cool. I just wanted to see if any of these islands had anything below them. Oh, you know what would be amazing? Crossing this game with like gone, uh, not gone home, um, grow home. I mean, obviously, without the growing, but the the collectathon bits and all the ex exploration. Wow, they're actually kind of similar games, almost. At least visually. I overshot that one. Blah. Anything interesting about this? Oh, yep. There's always a little bit of something on every one of these islands, from what I can tell. Which is cool. Hey! Have a look at this! I've never seen so much water. But yeah, let's just look around for a bit. I mean, we've got like a billion little things to look at. In these general areas. And a lot of them have achievements. Obviously, I want to check everything out, but... Well, I, I want to I wanna actually explore, but I also just want to... Oh, hello. Hello! What is this? Ah! Oh, that's like a... Whoa, that's a really pretty sphinx thing. My brother stayed to guard the lighthouse, and I volunteered to join him in his duty. I shall guard the land and its animals. Even if I do not understand why the priestess wants us to stand guard. Are the gods truly sleeping in this land? And we are to guard them? But why then are they asleep? Can gods even sleep? I think this is just a story for children. The gods are long gone from our world, and their lands now belong to the spirits and the animals. But names stay longer than the memory of a face. Oh, that one's missing a face. I would love to play... Oh, dude. Other, other... I'm going to be combining this with a lot of games because this movement is fantastic. Oh, wait, there's a second one on its back. I missed. Whoops. I sometimes press X instead of A. And I shotgun myself off. I don't think they have any power left. So these things used to move. Uh, how cool would it be to have, like, a Monster Hunter type game, where you fly from island to island? So, like, say you're flying by and you look down and there's a, um... And there's, there's like, the monster you want to fight and you, you kind of land on it and maybe get a sudden strike in and stuff like that. Oh, that would be cool. Is there a kill box in the Endless Void? I don't know. Let's find out. Let's save first, now that I'm thinking about it. Then we're gonna do this.
Oh. The... Those are, uh... I'm actually kind of lost here. Where did I end up? Oh. Oh, I ended up out here. Okay, I actually haven't been to these islands. So Arcwing plus Monster Hunter from Warframe. Sure, I don't mind. I just, I wanna play a Monster Hunter game where it's actually like, it feels like a world you're exploring as opposed to being just shoved into the same small locations over and over again. Cause that'd be magic. Okay, let's go see what these beams of light are. Actually. Oh wait, no, that's... That's probably the... Yeah, that's the... That's the birdhouse where I revived earlier. Let's just smack our face right into this pillar and check it... Uh, take a look at this. We need a command counting wonder saying, How cool it would be for a Monster Hunter collection, etc, 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 mixed with this game. Uh, I mean, you might as well just tick it up a whole bunch because I'm gonna say that a lot. What's the point? Oh, I probably need my lantern for this. Yep, figured as much. Oh, spirit fish! Well, it's a something. Now I can pass through it. So I'm kind of curious. Oh. Oh, the, the spirit animals. I see, we're just here to flip a pair of switches. That's all we're doing in this section. Okay, that's fine. I guess we might as well open the other one up. I don't really see the point of this obscuring setup if uh, it's so obvious. Oh yeah, the sun and the moon. Gotcha. So that's a temple to the gods or is that the sanctuary or is it kind of both? Because there could always be that like creepy, creepy thing Oh yeah, there's more dead sheep. Could always be that creepy thing that they were offered a uh, sanctuary and then they were locked inside and died in there. Or even worse, they lived in there but they turned into Gollum. And, except for everybody's Gollum. God, a world where everybody was go is Gollum would be really grim. Or really funny. I know as a kid I always thought Gollum was hilarious. As an adult I realize he's kind of a messed up dude. With, like, serious issues and, you know, murdered murdered his cousin. Was it his cousin? He murdered people. Lots of people. Eight people, too. These great lakes are the domain of the water spirit. The spirit fish of the land of the gods. This actually controls real well. Most of the like weird flying bits are entirely my inability to to properly control the game. Just uh, ooh. Texture glitched out there for a little bit there. Oh, that's okay. Whee! That's fun. But not something that we really need to mess around with. We've already seen what happens when you die. Eat the fish, become the fish bird. No. I want to be a fish bird. Hey, what do we have up here, actually? This is like a cool looking temple thing. Probably does, it doesn't have anything useful in it. There's like a scroll, but. It's not open. So. It's probably, uh. It's probably nothing. Yeah, no, fat load of nothing, and then some. Oh, that's okay. Anything up atop? Aha! There's always something. Actually, this is a staircase leading down, maybe. I'm Rhea, 
Yohal's daughter. Oh. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm Rhea, Yohal's daughter. I sought out his words to make sense of what happened to him during his journeys. My father's burden lay heavy on his shoulders. Even though we found a new home, he was never the same again. There is hope, and more children have been born this spring than the last. We will recover, but I think he's worried about things yet to come. I think the sickness of the black rocks my father found scared him more than anything else. It's only been seen once or twice again, however. These islands are now... Oh, these islands we now wander are safe. Kara is soon having a child of her own, and laughter has returned to our hearts. Okay, well, let's, let's see what's... Never mind. There ain't anything in here. Nope. We've already read this. That! Ah! I'm trying to jump! It's the same bird! There's like... There's two buttons for this game. Bank and read. And also fly. And... Yeah, there's not a whole... They really could have actually tied some of these things to some other things. Well, that's one way to get places. Fly your face straight into it. Yeah, there's like markings and cool things all over the place. Well, let's go in. Let's see what we got. Because I am curious. Just in general, this game feels really... I don't know how to put it. Really chill, I guess, is the easiest. Okay, so I can't turn into bird mode here. But that should surprise nobody. We're gonna go back up to this rocky outcropping. The game actually makes me tired. No, there's nothing up here. I don't know. I have a guess, but I don't know. Okay, other direction, maybe. Oh, triangles to match the diamond on the floor? Is there a diamond on the floor? I succeeded. <laughs> I don't... What did I do? I don't know. I There's probably a context clue for that. But I guess I dumb forced it. Maybe it was actually just supposed to match these... No, I don't know. Whatever. I got it! Somehow. There was a diamond on the door that opened. Oh, was there? Oh, did it just match the door? No, there's a diamond on both of them. Yeah, I don't know. Whatever the context clue was... Uh... I don't know if it was the sun and moon symbols from earlier. It could have been, but usually they were... Oh, yeah, 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 I see. I was... So I was actually looking at this differently. I was trying to... Yeah, yeah, so we matched this symbol with this, this symbol. I was looking at this symbol down here, the three tiered ones. I'm tired, so my uh, my puzzle solving abilities are, are vastly diminished. But trial and error solved it before I ever did. Hey, it works. Oh, hi. Boss battle, start. Hello, little wanderer. You took your time, or you perhaps led astray, or just followed by the slow one. I think his name is Medvin, slow as... Few shif shifters I have met, but sharp, intelligent. 
Do you know what it is you found? You hold both light and key to lead you into twilight. Both dusk and dawn, I believe. Southwest of here is a temple. The silhouette of the setting sun. You will find more answers there. Go now, bird faster than Medvin. Secrets await you in the deep. Seek counsel from the ones who slumber. Yeah. Now for me to go back to kind of zoning out while flying around. Now does the weather ever change? It doesn't really look like it does. It looks like the, the weather is largely largely the same. Just kind of clouds and not much else. You know another game that would actually be benefited greatly by this kind of movement system would actually be uh, No Man's Sky. Just the ability to like turn into like a, or to be able to fly freely when you want to. Be super cool. So King's Pass. Well, we've got a number of things there. I think that's the, uh... Yeah, that's the, uh... But... Bleh. That would have broken necks. Do we have anything over here? I'm just trying to see... Oh! Is that snow? Also, the music did change. It changes a little bit with every area that we visit. Which actually is really nice, because that way it doesn't change too much um, to kind of cut down on work for them, but it changes more than enough for me. I'm Yohal of the Southern Isles. This is the second letter I leave behind. This message is a warning of bad tidings, the worst ever since the Great Divide. I came to the land of the gods to seek counsel of my spirit animal. Our lands continue to break apart as if an invisible tide gnawed at them. Since last spring, things have gotten worse. The snow creeps south, and animals are found dead, corrupted with the dark rocks I saw so long ago. I went to the spirit fox's den, but it was empty. I waited there for three days, but he was nowhere to be seen. Are the spirits dying as we are? If so, then all is lost. If he doesn't show up tomorrow, I will return to my people. I, for one, will not abandon them in their last days. Oh, we should probably go take a look at these these folks. Damn it. Wait. Ah, that's how we slow down. We pull both banking buttons. It's time to face the facts the God King is here to say. Stay. It's better bend a knee than to lose a head. God King? That doesn't sound good. I've played a decent number of games at this point to understand Anybody that goes by God King is usually bad news. I'm an airplane. Okay. We got anything interesting around here? I'm sure there's like little mini achievements that I'm missing all the time. But I'll get the ones that I can. Fox! Oh. Yeah, so that's how we stop. Oh, that is a pretty fox. Hello. Hello. Oh, you can stand on the fox. It has a hitbox. Can I can I stand on it? Come on, Tails. Uh bring me to Sonic. Fast. This world seems to have been uh torn asunder, and only you and your janky ass games can save the day. No? All right, well, bye. Makes cute little fox noises. Oh, wait, what is it? No! This fox, it's dungled. Well, that does not bode well for the other fox. <laughs> All we need is a dead blue hedgehog nearby. Seal the deal. 
Well, I guess there's really only one fox, so I, it would have been better if it was a little blue he hedgehog. Okay, well, I'm just gonna continue flying around and looking at things. Let's avoid the big, yeah. Let's avoid the big mountain for a moment, because we got some other things to do. Kind of in this general area. Though I am fading way faster than I thought I was going to. Yep. <laughs> I'm so glad that there's no such thing as taking damage in this game, because it would be it would be real bad for ah! Oh. A whole mess of people over here. The statue, it's falling. Bleh. 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 Wait, there are people over here. Sometimes you just can't see them. Oh, they're a lot easier to see. Save yourselves. Yeah, they're a lot easier to see. Uh, oh, this is a statue to the God King, isn't it? He looks like a, he doesn't look like he really knows how to party. It looks like he also has a sword in hand. Maybe he knows how to party. It's just not the party that I want to be invited to. I mean, some people like a good murder party. I don't like a good murder party, unless it's a video video game. I'm, I'm fading fast because this game is just so relaxing. I have the same problem with a couple other games where I'm, I am I play them for like a little while and by the end of it I'm just like... Bleh. Just not ready for this. Yep. Bep. 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 My pilot piloting skills are bar, are bar none the best. The belly of the beast. Curse my luck. How could this happen? Twice. Once when the gods were still awake, some animals gathered to talk. A hare said, The grass is not as green as it was. A bear said, The honey doesn't flow as you, it used to. A wolf said, There are less deer to hunt. And the deer said, Well, I do my best. An eagle said, The lands have become smaller. And the crane said, Humans write less and argue more. An owl said, there's a darkness deeper than the night, and it grows. At this, the other animals fell silent, and the wind howled all around them. I should just... I should just dictate Aesop's fables. That'd go over well. <laughs> like Kingdom and Chill. Need another one of those. Kingdom was a great game. I... I really wish they had added online multiplayer. They might have, actually. Uh, but it never really looked like they had. I don't know. It's hard to tell. I know it had local co-op, but I don't have anybody to local co-op with directly, necessarily. Okay, so there's a, there's a temple on the other side of this, I think. But yeah, Kingdom and Chill was fun. I'd love to play that again. Maybe I'll see if Bird wants to do a, uh, a Kingdom race. As we once did. Whoa! Hi. No, wait, that's Cloud. The hell's this? Or, oh! The... The thing marked on the map is the statue, which means... This isn't where we need to go. We, we need to keep going this direction. I have Shell. Shell does not care for games that actually are, like, generally focused around gameplay. She is a big story buff. Not so much a gameplay buff. She likes gameplay when it's, like, puzzly or interesting. Okay. So what's this, like, ice chunk here? Is it just an ice chunk? I was kind of hoping there would be something funny in it. No. Oh, it looks like this is probably the right place to be if we're looking for something. Yeah, it looks like there's a temple over there. Whoops. Isn't there an MMO that came out recently that was about flying and stuff? 
I should check it out someday. I don't think it would be as satisfying as this, though. Now, this actually looks kind of temple -y, so I'll check it out. Let's see what we have inside. Oh, okay. Who keeps these lights? I wonder if anyone has ever taken shelter in this cave. <laughs> it's like the final area in Journey, but with the ability to move. And significantly less uplifting music. Or down pudding. I don't know. God, the, uh... Oh, the temple was to the southwest. Whoops. Well, I'll just kind of run around and look at stuff. We found Beartooth Cave. Yeah, honestly, uh, exploration is... is king. It's important to check everything out, but it's also just cool to... Well, to you know, follow the plot, but it's also just cool to see everything. Notes on Legends of the Western Clans by Rhett, the scholar of the Summer Islands. Everything in the land the gods, land of the gods is sacred. Especially, there is a shrine called the Lighthouse, which is rumored to be a place of power. Some ancient texts refer to it as the House of the First Light, the Cradle of the World, where the ancient gods first woke up and walked the lands. Now it just looms as a small black tower made from alien obsidian. Lonely and abandoned, a relic of the eyes of our civilization. Is it a mistake that we don't care for what was left to us by our ancestors? A bit of both. There's some cool history out there, but there's also some dumb history out there. So what's back here? I guess we do have a lantern, so there's no reason why I should be running through this in the dark. Though, honestly, the shaders are really cool for being in the dark, too, so I don't know. A bit of both. So what do we got? Oh, we're up above. I was wondering about this. I can picture Zelda using something like this in a future game. Open world with animal transformations like Majora's Mask. Dude, that'd be fantastic. Actually, it'd be equally fantastic if they did, like, kind of Skyward... I, I'd always actually wish they had done this with Skyward Sword, where, like, you could hop on your bird and fly around uh, freely instead of just zone to zone. My lady, welcome. It is an honor to receive you here. You may not know me, but I know who you are. Come, listen to my story. Ah, I still remember the time when Karal was still a cub. It was her first visit to the land of the gods. Her clan was traveling through. I myself was still young, just over a hundred years. And as chance would have it, they stopped for rest near my home at the time. I was walking by and she went up to me. She was still without words, but she hugged me and her heart talked to me. Years later, she came back. She remembered me. One of the fir her first memories, she said. I offered her a pact, but she had already entered into one with the Bird of the Thunder Isles. We became good friends, however, and I was the first to meet her after the Great Divide. The Creator had split himself to lock away a void growing in his heart. The world crumbled. He had given Kara the task of keeping the pieces of his being safe. Three fragments of great power, the void locked in its prison, and one last piece, his hopes, his dreams, and his love for the world and its beauty. Kara came to me much later again, when the world was calm once more, to present the last piece to me. The cub was as small as Kara was when we, first, when we met the first time, and her name was Mina. Well, that's kind of spoilers. Uh, so the reason why the world's breaking apart, uh, broke apart, wasn't because of the ancestors, but because of the, um, uh, the creator god. And the, the black stuff is probably him being sad or angry or any number of things. I don't know. But yeah, just imagining turning into a Zora or a Rito to fly and swim through the Breath of the Wild world be so satisfying. I was actually ridiculously disappointed that they didn't do that. Like, it would be so cool if you got, like, a, a Rito cloak or a Zora... Zora fins or something, and you could, like, fly around like them towards the end of the game. It kind of break the way it, everything works, but it would be so cool. Oh well, someday they'll do it, or someone else will. Like, that's the nice part about video games. They are always better. Ten years down the line. 
this is a, this is a satisfying little game. I like it. I like it a lot. It's also putting me very fast to sleep. So I should probably just fly around, maybe go back to the lighthouse. Here, let's fly back to the lighthouse, and we'll stop there. Because I think I went in the wrong direction. Please don't talk about Breath of the Wild, I haven't played it yet. Go play it! It's good. The two minecarts and the magnet power, you can fly upward. Yeah! But that's like... That's like, stupid flight. I want this kind of flight in a Zelda game. One thing I, I'm disappointed I can't do is like a aileron roll or a loop-to-loop a -loop or something. That'd be fantastic. Unfortunately, we end up getting locked straight up, but I guess it would also be really, really hard to control otherwise. This is pretty. Yeah, I'm just gonna go back to the lighthouse. My voice is dying, and I think I need to go to bed. But this is kind of a fun little thing to mess around with. I will, I will probably uh, stop and wait for the full thing to come out, so I don't have to be playing this like weird beta branch, and I can instead play the full, real thing. Oh shit! There's actually something at the base of this. This must be the lighthouse. It doesn't seem to do anything right now. I should come back here later. Neat. This is cool. <laughs> Signpost. This way to town. Other way to uh, imminent drop to your death. Har har. <laughs> uh, this is cool though. I love this. This is fantastic. I'm gonna. I'm gonna just go bird myself into this corner. No, wait, no, that's that's bird. Oh, I... Yep, 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 that's what I wanted to do. 